Hello, Thomas here with another video for the Artisan Sound channel. Now, this in this video, I will show you um, how we're using um, snippets in show control uh, to store and then recall uh, individual channel settings for um, the microphone channels that are used by multiple um by multiple actors by multiple cast members uh in the same show so <clears throat> we used to kind of do this by doing by just using the library to save individual actors settings um but we used to really never do that when it was dynamic inside a show um when we have double casting we use that to recall the channel settings for the other cast by actor um and just to to get closer to just being consistent with the channel settings that that were individually required for each person using the channel but um using the snippets a snippet feature in show control you can actually uh recall the channel settings on the fly and if we're remote controlling this with QLab, it's really quite seamless in the way that it runs in the show when you do it in the show. So that's the reason why I'm using snippets to save the channel settings. And the way we do it, I usually just have the snippets that are for the mic mutes and unmutes and the DCA uh, configurations up here, starting from the top. And then I usually leave a little bit of a space here and it doesn't really matter how you do this. It, it's totally irrelevant which number of snippet, uh, which, which ID you're using. <clears throat> but anyway, this is how it is. <clears throat> this is <clears throat> Sorry about that. This is how it comes out. So, so we have here basically stored the individual settings for each um, person using that channel and I've just named them with the channel number and the actor's name and so for the mic check what you need to do and oh so just let me walk you through this what what is selected here in the parameter filters for this snippet is only the HA config which includes the gain control this is like one of the most important settings in uh specifying you know specific settings for um uh, for for a person using a microphone so the gain setting is important to capture uh, source and scribble we do not capture that um eq settings are important to capture and gate and compression compression settings are in, important to capture so everything else we don't want to mess with because some of these other um filters one of the, some of these other parameters are used in the other snippets to do other things. So we just want to capture and then reset um, these, these specific settings. And the other thing that's important is that we only want to save these settings for the one specific channel, for the one specific channel that is using different actors, right? So, so we have these three parameters selected in the parameter filters for these snippets and then the channel for which the settings is supposed to apply all right so here here's that matchup you see the channel six all has channel six selected and then channel nine settings have channel only uh, channel nine selected okay so now for the purpose of running a mic check the easiest way to do it is if you have uh, show control open and you're in the snippets um, uh, tab actually once you're actually connected to an x32 which I'm not at this time um, there are actually more tabs here and the first three tabs refer to the um, show control uh, to the show that is loaded in the computer and then you have three more tabs that say mixer cues mixer scenes and mixer snippets they are over over on this side here and they are the ones you want to use so you want to be on mixer snippets because that those are 
this refers to the show that is loaded, actually loaded into the mixer. So if you mess with these here that are in the computer, you actually, you can override the, the settings that are in the mixer, but the way we work with show control and the X32 edit when we're connected to the X32 board is we can, we make the connection, then we load all the mixer settings from the mixer, from the board into the program, into the app here. And that is what populates the three other tabs that are showing up, that are not showing up right now. But so anyway, so mixer snippets is what you want to select when you're actually doing a mic check on the board. And then depending on the order in which you mic check them, uh, whichever person is on, so let's say Ella is on, you, you want to start out with recalling, so loading the snippet that is saved for Ella. Then you make the mic check with Ella. And when you're done, if you've had to make any changes, which you may not even have to make any changes, but if you're making any changes, then you would have hit save and confirm that channel six Ella is being saved. And... Um, that puts it back, put you know, just preserves the uh, the changes that you may have made on this mic check on channel six for Ella. It saves it back into this snippet so that the correct settings, the, the changed settings are uh, are loaded into the mixer. Um, the next time, the next time you load this snippet, so then you would move on to the next person. Let's say. It would be Griff. Then you you load the snippet first for the next actor, and you make the changes for with Griff, if any. And then when you're done with these changes, you hit save and save, um, save Griff's uh, settings. And then you go through this uh, in the same way with the other channel. So that's important to um, to do that during mic check, so that once these settings, so these snippets are now in the board stored in the snippets in the board and when we recall the snippet during the show it's going to call up the correct settings for whichever whichever snippet which for whichever channel is selected okay so that's the process and it's actually it's not very complicated it's just important that you have that you do it in the correct sequence of things so again making sure that the mixer settings are loaded, which shows mixer snippets tab. You want to be on the mixer snippet tab and then scroll down to where those channel snippets uh, are located here. And then you simply just load the snippet for the person who you are checking at the moment, load it first, you double clicking loads it, right? Double clicking loads the snippet. That's the same as clicking load over here. Uh, while this thing is while while the snippet is, is selected, then you're making the change for that person, if any. If you made any changes, hit save right after that. Then move on to the next person that's on the same channel. Okay. So that's that's all for for now. This video is much longer than the actual process takes, but I thought it's it important to explain in detail so that we don't get confused about uh, what has to happen here to make sure that all of these um, uh, settings remain intact for the specific person that they are intended for, because now that everything is programmed in QLab to call these up at the appropriate time, it would obviously be a mess if we somehow, you know, not keep these consistent and save other people's settings on on other people's uh, snippets or or not adjust, readjust the snippet savings. I guess that would be the least problematic situation, but in any case, so I just wanted to make sure that we're aware of how this all works and how it's supposed to, supposed to, to be done. Thanks all for watching. If you like this video, give it a like and um, I'll see you in the next video.